top 10 gold producing countries in Africa. Welcome back to AfroPage and thanks for watching. In today's video, we shall be taking a look at the top 10 gold producing countries in Africa. Having a rich natural resource such as gold can truly change the livelihood of people. Africa has not been an exception. Gold has been one of the most valuable minerals on earth since the days of Cleopatra right up to now, and will most definitely remain one of the most precious of all. A number of countries have this precious resource. Some countries have been mining gold for centuries, while others are just beginning to mine for this precious metal. The few that can produce it make millions and even billions of dollars trading in gold. Africa is most definitely blessed with many natural resources and gold is one of them. According to analysis, Africa produces more gold than it has ever been recorded, due to the black markets, which is mostly exported with the US and Europe being some of the highest consumers of these precious gems. If you're new here, welcome, be sure to subscribe, and turn on notification. So you don't miss any of our uploads. The first gold mines in Africa were discovered in South Africa in 1886. And since then the mining of gold has become such an important part of Africa's exports. Gold production has been steadily increasing since 2008, even though the prices for gold have been decreasing since 2012. Amongst the greatest producers of gold on the continents, here are the top 10 gold producing countries in Africa. Number 10. Guinea. 27 tons per annum. Guinea's gold is predominantly found in the Upper Niger Basin of Sigiri region, in the northeast of the country. The country produces an annual average of 16 to 27 tons of gold. Its potential reserves are estimated at 700 tons. Gold is becoming an important commodity in Guinea, as international exploration coming to the countries is increasing significantly. Several companies operate industrially in Guinea to produce gold, including, Guinea Gold Corporation which produces 350,000 ounces per annum, Dingwere Mining Corporation which produces 300,000 ounces per annum. In addition, Wega Mining, a subsidiary of Avoset Mining, has held an operating license since 2015. It is currently in late stage funding for operations in Guinea. Number 9. Zimbabwe. 38 tons per annum. Zimbabwe's gold production data currently averages 38 tons from December 2017 to 2019. According to Zimbabwean official, Zimbabwe will not meet a gold production target or 40 tons it had set for 2020, because of various factors. The government had set a target, after encouraging 2018, when production reached 33.2 tons against a target of 30 tons. It is said, that one of the issues, that demoralized gold minimum as was a foreign currency retention threshold, which the government reviewed downwards, from 70 by 30% to 55 by 45%. Zimbabwe Miners Federation spokesman Dosman Mangasi said, most miners were affected by changes in the thresholds. The reviewing downwards of the threshold impacted negatively on the mining sector, because it made it difficult for miners, to procure supplies plans and equipment most, of which is important due to the government's failure to block leakages, especially in the small-scale gold mining sector, where players are selling gold on the black markets, where prices are attractive. Anti-corruption watchdog Transparency International Zimbabwe in March said that the country was losing about 200 millions of US dollars worth of gold every year, especially in small-scale mining sector where players were selling it on the more attractive black market. Small-scale miners accounts for more than 6% of gold deliveries to the Fidelity, which is an arm of the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe. Number 8. Ivory Coast. 4e1 tons per annum. It is suggested that Ivory Coast has enough gold to make everybody in the country rich. Ivory Coast, like other African countries sits on top of the premium greenstone belt and extensive area of ancient rocks, but not just any type of rocks, these types of belts called greenstone for the color caused by metamorphic processes, very frequently contain large deposit of valuable minerals, including gold. 
gold mining in Ivory Coast has been booming in the last few years and continue to skill into what we likely be one of the most productive places to mine gold in Africa. Production almost doubled between 2013 and 2015 alone, jumping from 13 tons to 23.5 tons of gold with no signs of slowing down. Ivory Coast gold mining industry has just received another boost, as Ivorian federal government awarded gold prospecting licensing to three different companies. These companies would be searching for viable gold ore deposits in eastern, northern, and southwestern part on Ivory Coast. Private industry and the Ivorian government aimed to hit a target of at least 45 tons by the end of 2020. Tangan Mine alone employs thousands of workers and produces about 7.5 tons of gold annually, which only begins to touch the surface. Number 7. Democratic Republic of Congo. 45 tons per annum. The mining industry of the Democratic Republic of the Congo is a significant factor in the world's production of gold. Kibali Gold Mine, which was opened and commissioned in September 2013 is one of the largest gold mines in Africa. The project is owned by Kibali Gold Mines, a joint venture of Barik and Angola Gold Ashanti, and 10% by Societe Minie di Kilo Motto. Production at the mine commenced in September 2013 and the mine produced 814,027 ounces of gold in 2019. The development cost of the mine was approximately $1.7 billion. It is expected to produce 600,000 ounces of gold per annum for the first 12 years. The Democratic Republic of Congo is a country with huge natural wealth. Almost every valuable natural resource can be found there, from a multitude of minerals, including diamonds, gold, copper, cobalt, cassiterite, coltan, to timber and oil. Number 6. Tanzania. 48 tons per annum. Besides being the sole producer of precious stones, Tanzanite in the world. This East African country holds one of the Africa's greatest gold producers. Gold production currently stands at roughly 48 tons a year. Mining is one of the leading sectors in Tanzania, with the value of mineral exports increasing tremendously each year, reaching $2.1 billion in 2011, and adds approximately 3.0% to annual GDP. Tanzania has the ambition to make the mining industry accounts for 10% of more GDP by 2025. In the last decades, the country has witnessed growth in the gold mining sector with repeatable mining companies investing in large-scale mines. Tanzania is said to have the largest gold reserves in Africa, amounting to an estimated 130.2 million tons, making the country the major focus on the exploration and development of gold on the African continent. The discovery and exploration of gold in Tanzania offers one of the best areas in investments in the country. Number 5. Mali. 61 tons per annum. The mining industry of Mali is dominated by gold extraction. In 2013 gold exports were of the order of 50% increase over the production in 2012, which is attributed mainly to the contribution of 20.7 tons made by artisanal mining. Gold followed by cotton is a top export item making a large contribution to the economy of this country. Gold extraction has occurred in Mali from ancient times, using simple implements before the modern mechanized system came to practice. This activity straights to the days of monarchy of the Islamic empires in the country, when salt and gold were major trans-Saharan trade commodities from Timbuktu and Jenny. In 2007, it was reported that women and men in approximately equal proportions is associated with artisanal mining. The largely unregulated sector is plagued by fatal accidents, smuggling, child labor and environmental damage. The government of Mali announced plans in 2014 to supervise operations and give miners easier access to financing, but progress has been slow. Despite Mali's widespread artisanal mining practices, it is also home to many large gold mining companies. Those include I am Gold and Anglo Gold Ashanti, which operate the Sadiola and Yatala mines together through joint ventures. Number 4. Burkina Faso. 62 tons per annum. 
Gold mining often plays a significant role in Burkina Faso's economy as it was Africa's fourth biggest producer of gold in 2012. In the same year there were six gold miners in Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso is the third bigger site for gold inspiration in Africa and currently the fourth biggest gold producer in Africa. Gold mining in Burkina Faso continues to grow rapidly with more than 15 major discoveries made since 2006. With these, have come increasing amounts of major acquisition activity and more explorers flocking to the region. A recent reports from publication All Africa revealed that recent bomb in the country's gold mining industry in the last three years has made the country one of Africa's leading producers, and also asserted studied it was learning a whole generation into the sector for work including slave workers and children. In 2011 it earned Burkina Faso $247 million accounting for 64.7% of all experts and 8% of GDP. Gold mines are spread across countries northern, western, southwestern and central regions, and currently produces about 62 tons of gold annually. Number 3. Sudan. 100 tons per annum. Sudan produced an estimated 93 tons of gold in 2018. Energy and Mining Minister, Idili Ibrahim told Reuters which would make it Africa's third biggest producer according to the US Geological Survey. Sudan has begun allowing private traders to export gold, a measure designed to crack down on smuggling and transferring currency into the country's cash-strapped treasury. Until now, Sudan's central bank has been only body legally allowed to buy and export gold and set up centers to buy metal for small-scale miners. Sudan produced an estimate 93 tons of gold in 2018, of which an estimated 70 to 80 percent of if it was smuggled abroad. According to government officials, gold production in north began soaring just a small income fell off when South Sudan seceded from the country, but because so much was smuggled abroad, the state was the deprive of foreign exchange. The central bank has been printing Sudanese pound equivalent to $200 million a month to buy and export gold to finance subsidized commodities, many fewer and wheat, Sudan definitely not giving up as the top gold producing country anytime soon. Number 2. South Africa. 118 tons per annum. South Africa's gold production decreased in 2018 compared with 2017, falling from 137 to 120 tons. The country's gold output has fallen 85% since 1980, but it has been one of the world's top gold producers for decades. In recent years, South Africa has been hit with political strife, mostly due to conflicts between the Association of Minerals and Construction Union and gold producers in the area. Association of Main Workers and Construction Union has held many protests and strikes at several gold and platinum mines within the last two years in the hopes of garnering more wages and stopping any merger between companies in which the union believed job loss would ensue. South African industry stalwarts Anglo Gold Ashanti Limited and Goldfields Limited are shifting their focus to other countries, including Ghana, where deposits are cheaper and easier to mine. The largest remaining gold miner in South Africa, Sibonai Gold Limited, is cutting thousands of jobs and diversifying into platinum group metals as it struggles to contain costs. Despite this, South Africa is, however, still home to the world's deepest gold mine. The Mpona Mine, extending 2.5 miles underground. Number 1. Ghana. 142 tons per annum. Ghana is classified as a lower to middle income economy that is well endowed with natural resources. The country has seen strong economic growth recently, its GDP grew 6.3% in 2018. Aside from the gold, the country also exports resources such as cocoa, oil, timber, electricity, diamonds, bauxite and manganese, they are all major sources of foreign revenue. Ghana recently took the top spot as Africa's largest gold producer. Moreover, the country hosts more estimated reserves than key gold producing countries like Peru and Papua New Guinea. Those factors make gold mining in Ghana a pursuit with great potential. In fact, southern Ghana has been considered one of the world's most prolific regions for gold discoveries for some time, with both gold producers and explorers enjoying success there.
According to the 2019 Mining in Africa Country Investment Guide, Ghana's high tax burden has stalled exploration projects and deterred new investors, leading to a dearth of greenfield exploration. The county's mining code, the report argues, favors bigger companies with deeper pockets and has tended to encourage brownfield exploration. For now, gold miners in Ghana such as Goldfields, Newmont, Kinras and Anglo Gold Ashanti are well placed to benefit from a bullish consensus on the future price of the yellow metal. Those are the top 10 gold producing countries in Africa. Thanks for watching, and before you go, don't forget to give this video a like, and also subscribe to this channel for more interesting videos.